Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Ghosts of Scotland. Today we visit the county of Ayrshire. And very quickly before we go on, I would like to apologise for all of the mispronunciations I'm about to do on these place names. Number 1. Footsteps The owner of Tup Inn in Cumnock back in the 1970s reported that he would very often hear movement from the room above him, even though he would know the room above him was empty. He would regularly investigate the room to find that it was indeed empty, though the lack of guests didn't stop the active noises from the room above him. Number 2. The Black Mist There is an interesting report from two Americans back in the 1930s. They reported that they fled in fear after watching a black mist drift towards the kirk in Alloway. Oddly, they also reported that the mist made a horrendous noise, like a wooden barrel being rolled down the road. This apparition is believed to be one of three likely people, as on site a few noteworthy deaths have been reported. One of a murdered child, a woman that committed suicide, and that of a homeless person that was found deceased on site. Number 3. Hooded Male Figure In 2015, just outside of Dalry, a witness whilst driving along the B708 noted that they had saw a hooded figure sitting by the side of the road. Fearing the figure needed help, they stopped the car to ask if they required any assistance but the figure had vanished without a trace. Interestingly enough, a year earlier in 2014, a driver slammed on his brakes as he watched a grey male figure step out onto the road just in front of his car. The driver turned on his main beams to search the area for whatever had stepped out in front of his vehicle, but couldn't find anyone around. Number 4. One-Armed Man on Alleyway Street in Ur, there have been many reports from witnesses claiming to have seen the figure of a man with a bloody stump roaming the area before vanishing into nothingness. The local belief is that the man lost his arm when attacked by an angry mob. Number 5. Bum Pincher The owners of Castleview Public House in Dunolden received numerous reports from staff that invisible hands were pinching their bottoms. The staff also reported that they could hear people walking around, even when no one was present. It concerned the owner so much that they called in paranormal investigators to investigate the claims further. Number 6. Brodick Castle The Brodick Castle located on the Isle of Arran has two interesting entities that are regularly seen by visitors to the area. One is of a gentleman that is seen frequently in the library. He is easily recognised by the green jacket that he wears. The other is the spirit of a grey lady. It is said that she died in the 1700s after contracting the plague. She was locked in the basement to ensure that no one else would catch the disease. Number 7. Deadly Premonition A case of a deadly premonition now, as a female servant from Dean Castle in Kilmarnock reported that she saw her master's decapitated head roll across the floor in front of her, despite him being perfectly alive and well in another part of the castle, though a year later her master did actually lose his head at the Tower of London leading many to believe the serving girl accurately predicted her master's death. Number 8. Debt Collection Lag Inn on the Isle of Arran is believed to be haunted by a local laird that allegedly in life sold his soul to the devil so that he could repay a large amount of money that he owed. Number 9. Screaming the legend of Sir John Cathcart has left a horrific imprint on the area around Colletton Castle in Landlefoot. In life it is said Sir John, 
or the Mad Baron as he is frequently called, secured money for himself by marrying heiresses, and killing them by means of pushing them down cliffs. It is believed that he managed to kill seven wives by doing this, until his eighth wife pushed him off the cliff instead. After all this, it is little wonder that many visitors to the area have reported hearing ghostly screams echoing throughout the cliffs. Number 10. Bagpipes. In Loch Ranza, on calm summer days, witnesses have reported hearing disembodied bagpipes being played throughout the village. One tourist in particular said that they tried to follow the sound until it suddenly stopped once they got to where they believed it was coming from. The ghostly bagpipes is put down to a bagpiper that died in the nearby hills in the 1700s. It would appear that even in death he still enjoys his favourite musical pastime. Number 11. Crying Child The Pussy Nancy's public house in Mouchline had a few reports that came in from 2008 to 2009. The owner, Mary Young, says that she often felt as though someone had walked into her office, even when no one was there. Many guests to the public house had reported the feeling of someone tapping them on their shoulders, and perhaps the eeriest report is the ghostly crying of a little girl that has been heard throughout the building. Number 12. Suicidal Man since the 1940s, the Balgowny House in Prestwick has had many people say that they have heard the disembodied footsteps of a man ascending the staircase and heading to one particular room within the building. It's believed that this is the ghostly reenactment of a man that committed suicide in the house. Number 13. Monks. Built in 1244, the Crossragu Abbey in Maybole is said to be haunted by monks that once came to the abbey to pray. Their shades are still seen walking through the ruins of the abbey. Number 14. Raven-Haired Lady Coolzine Castle has a report from a visitor that says they were talking to a raven-haired lady that apparently faded away when the witness got too close while other visitors to the castle have reported hearing screams that sound like they are coming from someone being tortured. Number 15. Young Woman It is said that before the start of World War II, a young woman threw herself under a train on the railway line in Pinmore. Her ghostly shade is believed to still manifest by the tracks where she died. Number 16. The Knocker. In Sauchi in the 1960s, it was claimed that a poltergeist became attached to an 11-year-old girl and would follow her wherever she would go. The poltergeist made itself known by moving furniture and banging on walls. This activity would even be witnessed by her fellow students at school. Number 17. The Third Figure. And finally for this episode, in Stevenston back in 2009, a photograph that was taken at night of two children standing by a fire would send shivers down the observer's spine, as on the photograph what appears to be a third figure can be seen. Though, due to the graininess of the photo, some sceptics have speculated that the figure is nothing more than smoke coming from the fire though I'll let you come to your own conclusion of what you are seeing on the screen in front of you. In fact, I'd love it if you would comment below as to what you make of this apparent sighting. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos.